Launching a WordPress site on a BPS is not as straightforward as you might think, but in this case, we're going to use a BPS manager called Cloud Stick, and I'm going to show you how to launch a WordPress site on a BPS. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is George, and I'm going to show you how to launch a WordPress site on a BPS. In this case, I'm going to use a BPS from Hostinger because they are the sponsor for this video, and I'm going to show you how to add a coupon code that's going to reduce the price to the plan on a BPS. So jump over to the link in the description, go to hosting, BPS hosting, and in this section, we're going to be able to view all the plans that they have available, all the way from one CPU core to eight CPU cores. So I'm going to select this one, the KBM8, because I'm going to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code. And right now here on Hostinger, the first thing that is going to ask you, how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months because you lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 24 months. So this is the current price for 24 months. But if you add my coupon code here, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $131.78. That's for 24 months. And you're going to go with the highest plan BPS here on Hostinger, right? So back to CloudStick. This is my CloudStick panel. And I already have my Hostinger BPS installed here. Now, the idea is to launch a WordPress site. If you don't know how to launch a BPS on CloudStick, watch the video link that's going to be provided in the description. OK, so let's open up this VPS. And in this case, I'm going to launch a brand new website. That's a WordPress site, right? So here's my overall panel information for this VPS. And I'm going to go into websites and in websites, I'm going to create a website. I'm going to select WordPress for this purpose, and I'm going to give it some detailed information here. So website name, I'm just going to add some random information. And then we have the domain name. In this case, I'm going to use a subdomain. So in this case, I'm going to use this one as a subdomain. This is my main domain, and this is what I'm going to use as a subdomain. So this is my current IP address. This IP address is the one created from your BPS provider. So let me go ahead and copy this. Go to my DNS provider. In this case, it can be your hosting provider that has a DNS. It can be Cloudflare in this case or something else that you're using for a DNS. So we're going to use an A record. And I'm going to say number three and the IP. And I'm going to turn off proxy for this purpose. OK, so right now I've just created my subdomain. So let's go back to CloudStick. Remember, it's three, the subdomain and the main domain is iloofer.com. All right. So Cloudflare, I'm not going to touch it. System user, I am going to just say something like this. And the PHP version, I'm going to select the latest one available here. Web stack, I'm going to use this one. You can use another one if you like. Site title, I'm just going to say test. Admin email, I'm going to keep as it is, a database name. I'll say test, 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 just for testing purposes. No password. Uh, it's going to generate it automatically. Database user, just type in something random and the table prefix. Don't use WP because that is really prone to getting hacked, right? So let's add the application here. Give it a few seconds and it should be ready. There we go. The application has now been launched. Here it is. We should now be jumping over to this section and we should have a brand new WordPress site right now. We just launched it on this video. You can see how easy that was. Now I can go ahead and jump into the back end, which is WP admin and jump in with the login details that we've created when we generated the site. Now, if you don't remember, or if you need to create a brand new user, all the details are going to be right here. So you got your general data here for the PHP version, the WordPress debugging, maintenance mode, search index, Enable auto updates. You can view all the users here. We can go ahead and delete, edit the users, add users, check out the plugins and cache settings if you enable the cache status. Now, this VPS manager comes with a cache system, which is pretty cool because it's in the back end server side and not inside of WordPress. But that's how you're going to launch a WordPress site here on CloudStick.